Hi everybody, let's talk about the Quran from the fourth suite uh, by Johann Sebastian Bach. So this is a great piece to figure out cadences because there's a lot of uh, in inner cadences. So inside, not just at the end of the movement, not just at the end of the first half, but within the movement. Um, so let me walk you through them. Um, one is uh, in bar eight. <laughs> So here, this is the first cadence in this movement, bar 8, then bar 23, we have a similar one. So here there's another uh, octave down, and that's another inner cadence. We have one at the uh, end of the first half, uh, uh, obviously, and then um, bar 42. At bar 56, we have a little cadence. Here. And bar 61. Again, an octave going down. Uh, and obviously, at the end of this movement. Uh, so, a lot of kind of stopping and going. I like playing uh, the slurs as they come. Uh, try and, and see if that works for you. I think that makes for an interesting uh, interpretation. So... Up. Up. And down again. And similarly in the second half. Actually compensate. Uh, bar 31 starts one of the most beautiful cycles of fifths in the suites uh, and here uh, it's a very long cycle of fifths it starts a C minor F minor B flat major E flat major A flat major uh, then D7 and then finally a pedal point on G uh, in bar 37. So let me show you um, how I add notes to clarify this in my mind and I only add the notes when I practice. So uh, starting in bar 31, so we are in C minor as I said. <laughs> at the end of this movement, um, starting bar 62. Uh, in this movement, we have a lot of uh, string crossings and big leaps. For example, uh, bar 49. Um, uh, so, uh, just take time, I think, uh, really uh, giving uh, the lower strings time to speak. So you don't worry about playing this metronomically. Uh, there are two uh, different voices going on. The one in red. Uh, Top. Um, uh, you can even 
uh, divided into three voices. Um, and then gut strings are very thick and take time to speak. You might play on metal strings, but these are the strings that Bach played on and wrote for. So take time. So just catching those strings uh, took a little extra time. If we look at the harmonic analysis of this uh, beautiful courant, we see that uh, very clearly uh, there's three chords in the first bar. Uh, so tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic. And then the second bar is all in the tonic. So it's one, it's in one harmony. Uh, for that reason, uh, I feel that this moving of the 16th notes can move forward. So they are an upbeat to the next bar, bar three, which again has those three harmonies. So harmonies that change on each of the quarters of the bar. Uh, and here bar five uh, starts a passage and um, here each bar is in one harmony. Um, it's one harmony, then second uh, bar six is again in one harmony and then bar seven is in th in three and, and again bar eight is uh, uh, similar to bar two has only one harmony and the uh, 16th notes leading us to the following bar so it's an earful, what I just said. I would highly recommend you read uh, Alan Winold's book, uh, The Bach Cello Suites. Uh, he analyzes all of them, and it's very clear to see which bars are in one, which are in three, um, and um, it gives a great basis for an interpretation. This is it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.